for the moment. Okay, so we're recording. Vale. Okay. Hola, buenas tardes. <laughs> Hola, Gordon. ¿Qué tal? <laughs> Hola, Eva. Um, welcome to Meet the Socios, and we're here with Eva. Now, let's see if I can pronounce your name correctly. Eva, ¿cómo ves? Cumbes. 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 <laughs> and Eva is from, uh, is Hungarian. Yes. Yeah. But living, as you will hear from her accent, living in Ireland. Uh, in Belfast, in Northern Ireland. In Belfast, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Eva, thank you very much for doing this interview with us. Um, and can you tell us, tell us, tell the other people about, about yourself? What, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, <laughs> I think I'm a happy person <laughs> because uh, I don't know <laughs> what people usually tell about themselves. Um, I like uh, to do what I'm doing, to live how I live. Um, I do the job what I like. I like to do. I give massages. I do Thai yoga massage. Um, so the base is an oily massage, but I work on mobilizing the joints and I do stretches during the massage because uh, I just want to put as much yoga into the massage as I can because um, I just love yoga. Uh, I've been practicing yoga for 15 years now and it just helped me so much, changed my life so much that um, for those people who can't go to classes or doesn't want or just lazy, I can... Um, I can introduce them to yoga or I can, so, so they can feel the effect of yoga as much as they can. Okay. Okay. And how long have you been in Belfast? How many years? 13 years. 13 years. Yeah. What made you go to Belfast from Hungary? What made you leave Hungary? Uh, my brother was here. He was here with Erasmus and I was just going to do the teachers, yoga teachers training course um, in Hungary. But um, my brother told me that, oh, you should come out or come over and just live here, try living here. You can do the yoga teacher's training course here. So I came over and I just um, fell in love with the country. I think it's, it's a very nice place to live. And I like that everything is so green here. And um, I don't mind the weather. So many people are complaining about the weather, but... Uh, you know, you can do things to create some inner heat. <laughs> you don't need <laughs> always the heat outside. <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah. Excellent. And you're learning Spanish. And yes. With, uh, and you're a socio. So tell me, Eva, why are you learning Spanish? Okay, I, the reason I'm learning Spanish <laughs> is because I, I like Spain. I like to travel uh, to Spain. I like the Canarian Islands. And um, I like coffee too. <laughs> and there is a funny, really funny story. The reason I, I started to learn Spanish, I, I was in uh, Seville and I was um, in, a, in a square in a really nice coffee shop. And I just wanted to drink some coffee with cream. And I guess people don't drink uh, coffee with cream there. Just don't see. <laughs> So I, I, I told the waiter, um, can I get some coffee with cream, por favor? That was the only thing, only word I knew, por favor. Can I get some coffee with cream, por favor? And he just looked at me and just gave me the look. Uh, and it says, coffee? And then I showed with my hand that with cream, por favor. <laughs> and he, he seemed that he understood uh, what I wanted. He he went back and then he came after five minutes with my coffee and it was like an espresso and like a, a foam on the top, like a milk foam in the shape of, of like a cone. <laughs> and I just started to laugh and, and but he felt embarrassed so I just stopped laughing obviously but I think it was just such a funny story. So I decided that if I want to drink coffee in Spain. I learned Spanish, but that's not just the only reason. I just love the language. It sounds so nice. Um, so I just love it <laughs> and enjoy. And I enjoy learning languages. And uh, I like Spanish movies. 
I like uh, Spanish books, to read Spanish books in Hungarian. <laughs> and in Spanish, like short versions of books. Um, okay, thank you very much for that, uh, Eva. So why don't we speak in Spanish a little bit? I'll ask you a few questions. Primera pregunta. ¿Por qué has elegido el español? ¿Por qué? Mm. Uh, porque me encanta España y porque me encanta uh, la, la idioma uh, español y me encanta uh, ir de vacaciones en España y en las Islas uh, Canarias. Fui, fui cuatro veces uh, a G Gran Canaria, una vez a Tenerife y por, por mi cumpleaños, uh, 23 uh, de abril, voy a ir uh, en Lanzarote. En dos semanas. <laughs> bueno, Eva, has conocido mucho de España, ¿no? Muchos lugares. Entonces, ¿cómo encontraste Lightspeed Spanish al principio? ¿Cómo nos encontraste? Um, en Internet. Uh, um, oh, I can't tell it in Spanish. Um, is that okay? So, I was just searching on the Internet. Uh, for free Spanish lessons um, and I found a few but then after that I, I found you and Cynthia and um, see only your lessons uh, were like interesting for me the rest of the lessons was yeah I watched and uh, no impression but your lessons were like something different it's so hard to to tell why because probably because you are different you, you are like like people persons or, or very different because um, you just talk about your life talk about like simple things and you seem to be really enjoying what you are doing and I think you seem to be enjoying like helping people uh, to get better and uh, I just really believe in this in life that if you do something, that, that's why so many depressed people in the world, because they don't see the effect of their job, of their work. But you teach and you just immediately get the response that, that people are getting better, they are improving. Uh, and it's just, I think it's just uh, an amazing uh, way to live. Just to do what you like to do and uh, just to be surrounded with these happy people who are happy for you and you make them happy so that's how <laughs> to be happy qué palabras más bonitas eva muchísimas gracias eh, vale y, y cuando estudias cuál es la parte más difícil de estudiar y la parte más fácil uh, más uh, Difícil es eh, hablar. Puedo, no, no tengo con quien hablar en Belfast. Uh, el otro día uh, fui en autobús y, y vi dos uh, chicas. Hablaban español y fui a a estas chicas y dice ¿Puedes ser mi profesor de español aquí? <ríe> y, uh, pero anfortuna anfortunadamente uh, estaban aquí para visitar solo para visitar y uh, Lo que es uh, más uh, fácil um, escribir o leer porque tengo el uh, diccionario o Google porque eso. Eva, 
Muchísimas gracias por hacer esta entrevista. Um, I don't know if the viewers are going to be aware, but basically the audio dropped out halfway through. No, not halfway through, after about two minutes. My audio and not yours. So I've had to replace the audio. Ok, pero muchísimas gracias, Eva. Y nos vemos pronto, ¿no? Hasta luego. Adiós.